wonderful all the way around. I mean, people are just so kind and generous. The high fives and just generally encouraging you on, and uh, it's just a really, really wonderful feeling. So much support and yeah, so many people for the minute. London definitely changes the marathon day. Um, it's just so nice to have so many people that are out there supporting you and really willing you to, to do well. The sport in general is, is superb and just having I had my name written on my shirt so it just sounded like everybody knew me and I must have had about 30 or 40,000 people call my name today so it's just excellent. Oxfam cheering points were fantastic. I could see like the green banners and I'd always try and like write <laughs> that's the target point. I'm gonna like try and run alongside them and there'd be like massive applause. I think it's been a brilliant day today. I was down on the grandstand at the start and just seeing the first runners coming in and especially really exciting when the first Oxfam runner came through. Great to see people coming in and the atmosphere has been wonderful both on the race but also uh, back here where the runners have all come in. <laughs> Last mile or so it was just, just incredible. It was yeah, great, um, great atmosphere, and couldn't wipe the, the smile off my face. I think I just knew that it was every penny raise would go towards something that you know would make the world better for everyone. And just seeing like that final 800 meters just <laughs> really powered me on. I think the whole um, the slogan "Determination is everything" like really does work. All I can think about right now is how much pain I'm in. But um, I, it was worth it, it was totally worth it, it was brilliant. Amazing atmosphere, it's been a brilliant day. Yeah, it's so nice how everybody comes together just, just for one day. Doing a marathon, it's, you know, 26.2 26 miles of pain, but then doing, you know, some of the, the other um, amazing things that, you know, obviously going in the world, it's like, it's nothing. The West has got an awful lot, and the developing world has got such a little. They've got the biggest populations and the, and the lowest proportion of the wealth. So I think anything that we can do between us to, to achieve a, some kind of rebalancing and people like Oxfam you know, bring it to everyone's attention very successfully in you know, a vibrant sort of t-shirts that everyone wears and, and the marketing and advertising campaigns and just the passion of the people. So I think it's, uh, it's a force for good.